Dozens of Wake County Sheriff's Office employees are starting the new year in new jobs within the department or just out of work. The Wake County Fraternal Order of Police say new Sheriff Gerald Baker is making major moves to get rid of or demote deputies and other workers. CBS 17's Robert Richardson spent the day speaking with advocates for the law enforcement officers. He's live tonight at the Sheriff's Office in Raleigh. Robert. Well, Mario, no response from the sheriff so far. Didn't get any comments back in requests to responses to the claims and complaints made by the Fraternal Order Police as well as the North Carolina Sheriff Police Association about decisions that they say could make a big difference in public safety. 31 days since Gerald Baker took the oath of office as Wake County Sheriff, and more than 31 of his employees are no longer in the positions they had one month ago. One of his campaign promises was to assess the staff and make changes deemed necessary, saying, Persons employed within your entire sheriff's office, sworn and unsworn, must be held accountable for their actions and performance when those actions and performance are less than standard operating procedure and expectation. Here's what Baker told CBS 17 at his swearing in ceremony December 3rd. We're going to be operate with integrity and, and accountability. Those are the very first things, okay, and, and establish that one standard. And once we do that, that's going to correct probably 99% of the problems inside this office. Now January 3rd, Sheriff Baker has not responded to claims that at least 40 people have been demoted or dismissed. He could, you know, come in there and say everybody's out of here, you know, if he, if he ultimately wanted to, but is that the right thing to do? I mean, you know, you can't put the community at risk. I mean, if, if you're so short staffed, I mean, who's going to be patrolling outside and making sure everybody's safe? The North Carolina Sheriff Police Alliance says some turnover is expected in administrative positions, but not this many lower level jobs. He just feels like their services are no longer needed for one reason or the other, whether it's political or whether he just doesn't like them. I don't know. I mean, that's something he's going to have to respond to. A Baker campaign promise said what is clear is that we cannot allow politics and partiality to come before serving our communities and Wake County. The president of the county's fraternal order of police told me this afternoon that there are some concerns that deputies being demoted, reassigned to work at the jail, that doing corrections work could possibly lead to them losing their law enforcement officer certification. CBS 17 is going to be continuing to follow this story. Reporting live at the Wake County Sheriff's Office in Raleigh, Robert Richardson, CBS 17 News.